Good morning, everyone. Um, so just enjoying my uh, my coffee in my uh, jean cup, but I have an incoming call, so uh, oh, get back to jet. you. I have my Zoe mic. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to vlog week day three. I'm having such a good morning today. Today is Wednesday and it's already noon. I'm being, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm having a Saturday morning on a Wednesday. Honestly, it feels really good. Uh, you guys saw the clips, my boyfriend and I, went for a nice little walk. We grabbed a coffee and walked around his neighborhood. And we kind of explored this part that like we haven't been to before. It's like deeper in the neighborhood. Never been there. Cutest houses, quiet streets. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So yeah, it was really good. The theme of today and of today's video was going to be probably still is going to be a life and business admin day so i have a lot of like receipts that i need to enter i have some bookkeeping that i need to do for my dad um, a lot of like emails and stuff i was really heavy on like you know content work and like uh editing videos and all of that the past two days so today it's going to be like computer work and like emails all of that kind of admin stuff but it's not going to be too boring because my best friend camilla is going to come over so at least we're gonna do some like co-working uh together today so i'm gonna drive home but before that i just want to share with you guys this funny kind of feeling that I was having this morning so you may remember from my Q&A that I did I guess like a month ago by the way I'm parked eh? you might see the cars moving beside me but I'm parked on the side of the road um from the Q&A that I did a lot of people were asking me when I lost my job if I was going to be moving and I was like no 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 I love my apartment I never want to move um, and then a lot of people were commenting like your apartment's so gorgeous and I was like yeah thank you uh, I really love duh my apartment but something inside of me has shifted I don't know I think I'm just like changing a lot and I don't love my apartment anymore something switched inside my head and I'm like get me out of here I don't want to live here anymore um I want to live like in a small cozy quiet place and the problem is that finding a new place is going to be really tough I don't know if I will end up moving, but I just have this urge. And the walk this morning just really made me want to live somewhere still in the same neighborhood as me. Maybe like one neighborhood over, but somewhere more quiet and also somewhere smaller because I feel like my place is really big. It can get hard to keep up with like the cleaning and stuff. I don't know. I'm probably going to stay put because like I explained in that video, I have, let's say I have like a 700 square foot apartment. I don't actually know how big it is, but it's pretty big, my apartment, especially in volume because I have really tall ceilings. Um, and because my bed is in a loft, it like gives me an extra bedroom kind of, or an extra room. Uh, so, you know, I have my living room and I have my office and my bedroom. I am so fortunate. I am so fortunate. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't feel like I love it anymore and uh my rent is 1350 a month which is really really good apartments like mine are going for 1800 1850 now so there's that but if i wanted to move to a smaller place i would probably still be paying about 1300 might not be dog friendly might not have indoor parking like mine does uh, i pay extra for the parking but you know 
So I'm like in a really good spot and for whatever reason I'm just not satisfied. So I need to get to the bottom of that. I'm going to scratch my itch and like look for a couple apartments. Uh, see if there's anything. Hopefully or I mean hopefully there'll be something. But probably there will be nothing and I will have to learn to be happy with what I have. And I ha like appreciate how lucky I am. Um, maybe I just need some new furniture, you know. But that shit's expensive. So I don't know. I don't know what kind of need for change is calling my name but something is bugging me so anyway that's enough rambling for this morning let me drive home and i will see you guys there i just got home put that down this is tmi but my house kind of smells bad so i'm gonna open the windows it's a gorgeous day today finally not freezing feeling like spring again and since Camilla's coming over I don't, I don't want it to smell bad in here when she gets here so house is a bit messy what's new -da! -da! and like all the curtains are closed it's like dank in here <laughs> let's open this up I'm too hyper. I had a strong coffee and I'm like, yay! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. First time opening the window in months, in months, absolute months. Spring is here, spring is here. I will not handle another cold day if it comes back. I'm like weirdly suspicious of these enduring good moods, but I'm like, just enjoy it, just enjoy it. I think it's because I'm like filming so much and like really just, I don't know, I love vlogging and I kind of stopped vlogging for a while when I was going through um, kind of the hard times I talked about in uh, my like life update video. I just stopped vlogging because I didn't feel like it, but filming vlogs is the videos that make me the happiest. And I think they put me in a good mood all day when I'm filming them. And it's just like, it's so amazing. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I think this vlog week thing is gonna, it's gonna have to be recurring. Maybe not all the time, cause it's like gonna be a lot of work with editing. I haven't started editing them yet. Um, cause I have so much other videos to edit, but anyways. So while I want to make this place really cute and cozy for Camilla when she comes over, she's gonna be here in like half an hour. The very first thing I need to do is my infamous haul that I filmed a couple days ago. It is time to put the finishing touches on them because uh, it's gonna go up tomorrow and they need to approve it today. So I've been in contact with um, like, I, I don't know if I can say her name. <laughs> but with like one of the PR reps who I'm working with um, and she's like all right ready to go just need this final tweak and we're good to go so let me do that now I'm gonna blast that out and then we'll clean this place up make it nice for Camilla and uh, yeah I guess we're getting started with the day right now I feel like there was something that I wanted to say that I can't remember it'll come back to me I remembered <laughs> I just walked past it I got a new package from Missouri today um, I'm now working with Missouri 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 um, as part of like their partner program this is something that I have wanted and been dreaming of for years and it's finally happening so I got another new package um, to be posted on Instagram and then there's gonna be another there's gonna be a sponsored YouTube video a uh, video sponsored by Missouri later in the month of April. So it's just a dream, you guys. Let's unbox this quickly. Did that give you anxiety? Because <laughs> it gave me anxiety watching me with the scissors like that. Oh 
Oh my gosh. So you guys, they sent me, <laughs> I'm wearing my jewelry rings already, um, but they sent me this Charlotte Sing It ring. <gasps> it is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's very different from the, like similar but different from the croissant gonna fit oh my god perfect with my like vintage ring this was my mom's um how good does that look wow thank you Marjorie I am so happy right now it's gorgeous wow and then they sent me the matching earrings as well which is really cool oh it's all tied They're so cute. They're very similar to what I have in right now, which is the croissant huggies. So these are the Charlotte huggies, just part of a different collection. Let me take a photo of this right now because it's just so cute. I'm so happy. Thank you, Marjorie, and thank you, you guys, always. Oh, the sweet sounds of summer, right? With the window open. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome back my channel and welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you guys everything I got. I'm going to try everything on including what I'm wearing right now um, and then I'm going to show you guys like what I have planned for the springtime. Hi. Hi. Kamidge is here and I did not clean up before she got here. Oh, it's clean. I was saying I wanted to make like coffee shop vibes but then I got carried away. But yeah, we're discussing like what could be done to my apartment to make me feel that change feeling that I need. We've isolated the kitchen as the room I don't like. I've never really loved the kitchen. Um, so some DIY might be in order, but yeah, she's here, yay. Hi. Something I was thinking about is marble on top mm -hmm. that kind of has like a black or a blue in it and then just leave the bottom. Mm -hmm. So this would like brighten it up a bit. Cause it's easy. Taking this off is super easy, like on and off. You can yeah. spray paint this. I don't know if else. I would spray paint it though if the landlord would be mad. It's true, it's true. But this is easy to take off and then it's a flat surface, so easy to put the contact paper. Yeah, on. and it's not like grippy or anything, it would just come right off. Yeah. I wouldn't do the bottom, I don't think, because the bottom's fine. Like it can stay dark and then lighter on top, that would be okay. Yeah, because if you leave this black, you won't have to do all of this. Exactly. That's too much. Yeah. And then what I could do is change the handles on here, mm -hmm. make them gold, spray paint that, and it should be a bit brighter. Yeah. It's just too dark. And then I need a new table because mm -hmm. this is enough is enough. You guys, I got this for 20 bucks from my neighbor when I moved in. And it's cute. It's nice. And I would just like, I feel bad to get rid of it because it's fine, but it's just like for such a big room, I find it's a bit mm -hmm. flimsy and you can see how much stuff I put on it. So I need a bigger table. Yeah. Oh my god, do you guys remember Mona Lisa? <laughs> I kept her I kept her lying around <laughs> as a souvenir. Maybe a, a circle? Because everything's so square. Yeah, that could be nice. It's like that square, everything's so like rectangular. So do you think that would like it wouldn't be weird? I don't think so. It would need a big circle though for but six people. It would like center it. Yeah. But there's some of those tables that like can open up. To make it bigger if you need to, there's more people. True. Or just... So I could have a four and then a six. Mm-hmm. is so smart. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, well, let's make this tidy for you. Do you want to work in here or... Wherever. Okay, well, I'll leave you alone when you're on your meeting. Yeah, I guess for my meeting here and then... Okay, so let's clean it up for you. Yeah, seriously. Ah, uh, it's salt. Come 
funny you carry something with you in there. <laughs> On top. It's time for Mona Lisa to go in the garbage. Okay. I'm trying to help, but I really don't know no, what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. All my stupid stuff lying around. I kept these McDonald's coupons, like, thinking maybe we would go. But I don't think we're going to go. This is from my Princess Polly haul that I just finally finished editing and it's exporting and all of that. But I'm gonna take a picture for Instagram. Well, I'm just gonna take my picture. Um, so this is what I put on. Very schoolgirl, but I like it. And we're gonna go get pizza. So that's exciting. <laughs> you guys saw I started editing or up sorting through my receipts. So the admin, the life admin has started and it's two o'clock, almost two. It's 1.45, okay, it's really not as bad as I thought. I mean, we're making progress. Not as fast as yesterday, definitely not, but better than nothing. Why is it an obstacle course? <laughs> I just made a cup of mint tea. Camilla just left. We were working like side by side here. That's why the chair is there. You guys can see I put my sweatpants back on. It is quarter to five. It's crazy. Like this day has just gone by, but I'm having a really fun day. Obviously not as hyper as I was this morning, um, but I feel like things are going good. I'm like closing up a lot of loose ends, like finishing that haul. Um, I did some of the bookkeeping for my dad, like I spoke about yesterday. That is like done, sent him an email. Well, like half of it is done. I decided like I need to prioritize other things as well. So I did half of it. I gave myself like a cutoff. Okay, done. Um, I'm out of breath. And then I sent out, I like finalized it, a final spell check of my copywriting work and sent that out. Um, I think that's, it's Wednesday. So the thing with the copywriting is it's hard to know like when they're gonna get back to me. Um, I really hope they send me some more work before the end of the week because I only did about six hours this week and I like to hit the 10 hour mark because that's like <laughs> kind of the best for like money wise and like balance wise and like 10 hours is just perfect. So I hope I get a little bit more. If not, it's okay. Next up, I, you guys saw, I sorted all of my receipts. I wrote on them everything. This is everything for 2021 that I need to file so that when I do my taxes, probably next week, when I do another life admin day, I'm gonna put um, all of these receipts towards it. And then I have all of the 2022 receipts because now that I'm doing this full time and I'm technically self-employed, I have a lot more room to claim uh, expenses. So I'm keeping like all of my receipts, but this is what I have for 2021, not including what's in my emails, but I took pictures of all of them. Where's my phone? It's charging. So that is gonna be my last task of the day because I'm going to the gym at six. So let's knock it out, let's get it done, and then we can say that we had a successful 
life admin day. Thanks for being with me, guys. You guys definitely help keep me motivated and accountable when I've got these boring tasks to because I'm like, I'm vlogging. I called this a life admin day. I better finish it. So I hope maybe this inspires you to do your own kind of life admin day. And again, like some of those tasks that you may have been putting off, like those receipts have been sitting on my counter for months and months and months, growing yellow with the sun, you know? So let's knock it out. And I'm gonna watch Drag Race. This is the kind of thing that's fun because it's the kind of thing that you can watch TV while you do it. Previously on RuPaul's Drag Race. It's kind of insane to hear RuPaul say how freaking good we all are. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Yeah. Jesus Christ, we're terrible at doing that thing. Well, no, it's seven without her. Oh. We do not know how the whole thing is going to out. It could be 2v2v3. Two two I am so freaking proud of myself right now. I just went through all of those receipts, including the ones for 2022. And the ones for 2022, I went in and logged them into QuickBooks. You guys, I am such a business owner right now. <laughs> no, but I'm just feeling really happy. It feels really cool to be like, taking charge of my receipts and stuff and like really thinking of this as a business, of these purchases as business expenses. It's things like my camera, you know, stuff like that. And where I usually take a very passive, like, ooh, like out of sight, out of mind approach to this stuff, um, it's really cool to take like a hands-on business-like approach. And I feel really proud of myself for just doing it now. Now, the next problem is just going to be finding where I want to store these receipts. Um, really, I should get like a paper folder or something um, because I don't want to just like leave them crumpled up and lying around. And I think I do need to keep paper copies of them in case like you ever get audited or whatever. Like I think the accountants always say to just keep paper. So anyways, um, it's 5.30 now. So glad that I knocked that out. As usual, I made, you know, a bigger list than what is actually possible but i pretty much got everything on my list done except for i wanted to edit another video i wanted to edit uh my monthly money so i think tomorrow's theme is going to be like video editing extravaganza because i just have so many con so many content so many content to edit you guys um but uh, i think that's a wrap on today not the vlog just on work for today I am doing something exciting tonight. <laughs> Just grab those. But let's move over to the couch. We haven't had any couch time today. Grab this. I am such an idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. <sighs> that was crazy. That got my heart rate up. Um, you guys can probably tell from like vlog week so far, but I've been super obsessed with working out lately. I'm trying to go every day, Monday to Thursday, and then I'll do like one workout on the weekend, like Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, but just try and like have those be my chill days. But yeah, it has been feeling so amazing to really like take my workouts into my own hands. I've joined a gym that I love and I'm doing those classes. I'm also following a personal training app. So I have a trainer that assigns me three workouts a week. Two of them are runs and then one of them is a strength training. So I think I'm gonna do a run and a strength training tomorrow because there aren't any classes at my gym that fit my schedule because tomorrow JS and I are actually driving I was gonna say up, we're driving down to his hometown, which is like in the regions of Quebec. I'll explain everything tomorrow. Why can't I talk? What's wrong with me?
I will explain everything tomorrow and of course you guys will be coming with us um, but yeah so I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow but tonight I'm going to a boxing class which is going to be my first time at this gym doing a boxing class so it's just really fun because I did my first spin class this week at this gym I've tried a bunch of different classes over the past couple of weeks and I'm really just getting into that routine that I like and I've already started seeing some progress a little bit with like how I look but mostly with how I feel like already in the circuit classes that I'm doing I can lift heavier I can go for longer I can push a bit harder and that is the most amazing and rewarding feeling so I'm just really really happy and feeling that progress saying it out loud you know I've even been saying it to like JS and to Camilla like look I'm really proud of myself um giving yourself that validation out loud I think helps you continue feeling motivated because you don't need to focus on like how you look and be like staring at yourself in the mirror it can really just be about how you feel and saying that out loud really reinforces it so that's awesome super exciting I'm gonna take you guys along with me to boxing but it's not quite time to leave yet so I'm gonna chill out a little bit longer and then we'll head out We're back in the car. You guys might have noticed today that I didn't have Maggie with me. Uh, JS wanted to keep her today, so I was like, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna go back and sleep there and get her. Um, but I haven't had dinner yet. He needs a couple groceries for his place, but he's doing a skillful class tonight. Um, so I was like, I'll just go get it and I'll get myself something to eat. It's already past eight. I am so wound up and energetic from that boxing class. It was the most amazing class that I've taken in a very long time. Like I think I said that after spinning and now this, this was on a whole other level. It was so good. And something that like got me fired up and I feel like helped me perform in the class was boxing is this thing that guys get really excited about and they like want to show off and Anyway, so I'm left-handed, which means that my right foot goes in front. But for most people, they are right-handed, which means their left foot goes in front. So anytime I've ever gone to a boxing class, dudes in the class want to correct me and be like, fix your stance. But it's so fun for me to be like, I'm left-handed. Like, I know what I'm doing. And anyway, that happened twice today. So I was just like, um, but it just kind of pushed me to like, want to like show off a bit. Um, and show that like, you know, I know what I'm doing. Um, not that I'm a pro by any means, but I've taken some personal training with boxing and I've taken lots of boxing classes uh, a couple years ago. So like, at least I know how to stand, you know what I mean? And it's just like, dudes, let the teacher correct people. Like you don't need to show off and like go and correct these, like the girls, like it's just really annoying um anyway that's my rant but class was so 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 amazing i'm so happy that i went i'm so like oh it was just it was great you guys um so yeah i'm gonna go get dinner after the class i did a sauna session and then a steam room so that's kind of why it's so late um but i need to start winding down i got my harry potter with me i also brought my computer um, in case I want to edit a video tonight in case his class runs late. I think it ends at 9 or 9 30 I wouldn't be mad about editing a video with all this energy I have but anyway, we'll see first things first. Let's go get groceries
Thank you, Ethan. Bunch, bunch. We were being cute with the dog, and I was like, let me film it, but now it's just not natural, so it doesn't really work. Yeah, it's not Magdalene, Magdalene, Magdalene. You know what else I think about sometimes? <laughs> Is like, those. there's a lot of TikToks, you probably don't get them, no. but a lot of TikToks of these girls being like, oh, my relationship is so perfect. And it's like all these clips of like kissing and hugging, but like the camera's there, like, yeah. how do you do that? It's staged. Ew. <laughs> Not interested in watching. Not even interested in hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a wrap on today. Thank you so much for watching Vlog Week Day 3. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> what? What? I can hear you. Okay, so? There's good music playing here. <laughs> so, is the 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 so is the sound of my voice. Yeah. Cut the vlog. No, I have to say thank you. Cut. No. 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 Stop. Okay. This man is perhaps getting sick of vlog week because I've been talking to a camera for the last couple days. But anyway. The problem is when she's not talking to me, she's talking to the camera. So it's as if she's talking to me all day long. <laughs> I wasn't even with you today. Uh, still. Wow. I'm literally so hilarious. You're not funny, no. Are you still filming? Yeah. I haven't said bye yet. Uh, how am I supposed to? Okay, just I'll tell you when I'm done. Well, I'll tell you when you're done. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're just doing anything to be on the camera. You're literally just doing anything to be in the vlog right now. You guys. Okay, um, let me make this quick before he interjects again. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun hanging out with you today. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.